Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 1st, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Flimsy read. We saw escape with all the desperation of drowning men. What seemed at first a flimsy reed has proved to be the loving and powerful hand of God. A new life has been given us, or if you prefer, a design for living that really works. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 28. Thought to consider. The task ahead of us is never as great as the power behind us. Acronyms. Willing. When I live life, I need God. Just for today. Chronic Slipper from Safe Haven. In Alcoholics Anonymous, I knew I had found a protective haven, but during the ensuing four and a half years, I fell into the category known in AA parlance as a chronic slipper. I might get a good six months of sobriety under my belt, but then I would get a bottle to celebrate. I did all the things that were suggested for me not to do. Within my first year around AA, I made some major decisions, like getting married, renting the most expensive apartment I could find, not using my sponsor, avoiding the steps, hanging around old haunts with my old drinking pals, and talking more than listening during meetings. In short, I wasn't responding to the miracle of AA. My disease progressed and I became a regular patient in detox hospitals, intensive care units, and treatment centers. Permanent insanity was drawing near and the gates of death were in view. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 455. Daily Reflections, Lest We Become Complacent It is easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels. We are headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85 When I am in pain, it is easy to stay close to the friends I have found in the program. Relief from that pain is provided in the solutions contained in AA's 12 steps. But when I am feeling good and things are going well, I can become complacent. To put it simply, I become lazy and turn into the problem instead of the solution. I need to get into action and to take stock. Where am I and where am I going? A daily inventory will tell me what I must change to regain spiritual balance. Admitting what I find within myself to God and to another human being keeps me honest and humble. As Bill sees it, going it alone. Going it alone in spiritual matters is dangerous. How many times have we heard well-intentioned people claim the guidance of God when it was plain they were mistaken? Lacking both practice and humility, they had deluded themselves and so were able to justify the most errant nonsense on the ground that this was what God had told them. People of very high spiritual development almost always insist on checking with friends or spiritual advisors the guidance they feel they have received from God. Surely then, a novice ought not to lay himself open to the chance of making foolish, perhaps tragic blunders. While the comment or advice of others may not be infallible, it is likely to be far more specific than any direct guidance we may receive while we are still inexperienced in establishing contact with a power greater than ourselves. 12 and 12, page 60. Big book quote. I had always believed in a power greater than myself. I had often pondered these things. I was not an atheist. Few people really are, for that means blind faith in the strange proposition that this universe originated in a cipher and aimlessly rushes nowhere. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, Bill's Story, page 10. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. AA will lose some of its effectiveness if I do not do my share. Where am I failing? Are there some things I do not feel like doing? Am I held back by self-consciousness or fear? Self-consciousness is a form of pride. It is a fear that something may happen to you. What happens to you is not very important. The impression you make on others does not depend so much on the kind of job you do as on your sincerity and honesty of purpose. Am I holding back because I am afraid of not making a good impression? Meditation for the day. Look to God for the true power that will make you effective. See no other wholly dependable supply of strength. That is the secret of a truly effective life. 
and you, in your turn, will be used to help many others find effectiveness. Whatever spiritual help you need, whatever spiritual help you desire for others, look to God. Seek that God's will be done in your life, and seek that your will conforms to His. Failures come from depending too much on your own strength. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may feel that nothing good is too much for me if I look to God for help. I pray that I may be effective through His guidance. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy L., and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.